Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set up a modded server. In particular I'm setting up a server for MC Eternal and this should work for every mod so we'll go through how it's done. So you load up your Twitch launcher then you go to the mod section you go to Minecraft. It's a local server by the way uh, you can use it uh, on the same internet network or you can use um, Hamachi if you want to play with people who aren't living in your house. So if you go into the mod section, you go to browse mod packs and you search for the mod you want. So I'm doing MC Eternal. So I'll search this and here we go. Make sure it's the right one because there's obviously lots of different mod packs that have similar names. So this is the one I want. Now you could just click this button if you're using the completely latest version. I'm not however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on website just to be safe and this will open up your browser and it will take you to curseforge.com now from here you can scroll down and as you can see if we had clicked server pack if we had clicked install server we would have gotten this one which is 1.3.51 now I'm currently just on 1.3.5 if I install this and launch this it won't let me join the server because it will say that I'm missing certain mods so what we do is we don't want this version so instead we click here on Minecraft server packs the version number will be different if you're using a different mod pack and then here we can see every mod pack server pack that they have available so I want 1.3.5 so I click this little plus one server pack this will take me to this page this is to install the normal game if I were to click that or download that that would be just the normal game not the server file we scroll down and you see here additional files that's where we find our server pack so that should be the same for different mod packs and different versions of the mod packs right so then here we click this button here which will download it it'll start downloading in three seconds if that doesn't or in four seconds or whatever if that doesn't start you can click right here and it'll download it I've already downloaded it so I'm not gonna re-download it but I will extract it fresh so if we go to the desktop you can see here's my WinRAR folder. Now I just want to simply drag the folder onto another spot on my desktop. Right? And so this will automatically extract it. So I haven't changed any of these files. They're exactly as they come from the download. So this might take a little bit depending on whether you're using you know, a solid state drive or a hard drive. So you just let it do its thing. It doesn't take too long, it's not like uh, <laughs> it's definitely faster than launching some of these beefy mod packs, so you don't have to stress too much. So here we go, we're almost done. 90%, come on, it reckons 3 seconds, oh, there we go. So now it moves it, and we have the folder here. Now, this is what you will see, you'll see all these files, and what you can do is you run launch server.bat, but that's not it, that's not all you have to do. If you watch, this will start doing things, this console, and you'll see more folders and files are loading here. Now, after a few seconds, this console will stop. It, see, right here, it says pause. And if you actually read it, it says you need to agree to the EULA, E-U-L-A, in order to run the server. Go to EULA.txt for more info. So we can find, oh look, it added, it added this. Now this file, this text document wasn't there before we launched it. So you have to launch it first, then this fo file will show up. And you can read this if you want, but you just highlight this and write true. Simple as that. You can click close, make sure you click save. Then it says press any key to continue. You can just press anything. It will close it. Then you want to run launch server.bat again. And then this is it. This is the server launching. So I won't touch anything and I'll have this just time lapse, okay? So this will time lapse so that you know that I'm not, you know, shifting it off camera. So if you really, if you slow it down, you should be able to see everything moving. And I guess I'll be back when that's done.
just thought I'd jump in here and this one in particular where it says starting started adding all dictionary uh, melting recipes this can take a little while there's a few other moments where it seems to just freeze and pause for a bit but you just leave it. it it should be running fine as long as you know it's not saying that it's not responding or anything you can see this moving it should be good you just give it some time and there is a specific point where you'll know that the server has finished loading obviously you could load up the my you load up minecraft and click refresh every time until it says but the console itself you can see when it's pretty much done so i'll show that in a second and here we are this is what you'll see you'll see stopping or a thread for and then it'll list all these dimensions you'll see that a, a server backup is just complete right as it happens. And this is it, this is it done. This is it ready. So your server's up and running. Now, how do you actually join your server? If you use Hamachi, you can easily find your IP address. Just above where it's set, where I've got my username, it'll show you some numbers and whatnot. You can just right click that and click copy IPv4 address. And that will be your IP address that you use to connect to the server. Now what you can also do is with Hamachi, if you're playing with friends that are not underneath your network, right? So they're not, they're not using your internet. You can click create a new network. You can give it a name. So we can just call this, I don't know, MC Eternal 12345678, right? We can add a password if we want. We can add like cheese and cheese and click create. And as long as the name's not taken, boom, we've got it. So now your friends, what they'll do is they'll click the join network option. If they've already joined a network before, you can click up here where it says network and you can join an existing or you can create a new one. And they'll join your network using this network name, the network ID that you pick and with the password that you chose. And then from there, they'll be able to also find your IPv4 address and then they'll be able to connect. And it's as simple as that. I'll show you here as well. So if I go into multiplayer, I've already got it loaded up, obviously. You can see this is my server that I'm hosting with uh, my community over on Discord. And then here's the server that we just made. Here it is. And you can actually have a look here. Something got updated. Patching class. So if we click join, we should be able to see the console. Start filling up with things saying that, hey, whoa, someone's connecting. Look at all the fun stuff. So here we go, we're connecting to the server. And over here, yep, look at this, big, big stuff happening. So you know something's happening. And then obviously give it a few seconds. And oh, I accidentally clicked the game. <laughs> don't, don't click your game and don't, you know, touch things while it's loading anything, whether it's the mod pack loading itself or whether you're joining a server or even joining a single player world because it, it could crash here. But no, we're, we're lucky. And here, look, you can see that do you stream underscore join the game. So here we go. We are in. And I can also do some more, you know, proving the point that we joined in a few seconds. So you, this here is it loading all the chunks because we haven't joined this world before. So it's creating the terrain Lots of things happening. We've got sound. <laughs> and th there's a few interesting things I've found about hosting this uh, local server. So here we go. We're in. There doesn't seem to be a world yet. Oh, there we go. We're in. There's a world. Now, let's say we wanted to check the tick rate of this server. We could type slash TPS. And look at that. You do not have permission to use this command. So we can run over to the console and we can type op and then type your username, right? Oh, sorry about the badoop. That was on my end. So you type your username. So I've got op stream underscore with a space in between the op and your username. And then it will say opt. And you can see in the game, it's opt. So now I can use all these commands like slash TPS and we can see the tick rate. Look how low it is at the moment. That's because it's still loading a lot of things. We're at 2, 2.6. It's meant to be at 20. 20 is good, 20 is solid. You can see for these other dimensions, they're sitting at 20 because they're not loading in. They're not doing anything. So we can kind of just let everything load, right? 
And then if we keep checking on it, we should see it going back up slowly but surely. And now we're back at 20, right? Now, I just want to point out, I'm on 64 render distance. Everything running insanely smoothly, right? So, I'm tempted to try out my single player world if I host it myself as a little local server because this seems to work extremely well. I'm not sure why, but there is no way I'd be able to load up a, a single player game with 64 render distance and have uh, these pretty good frames. Now, it did freeze there for a little bit, but I mean, that happens in my other world anyway. This is beautiful. So yeah, there you go. And you've obviously got other options in your server folder. If you want to whitelist people, you can do that somehow. I think you have to go into the server properties and you would have to turn on whitelist. So see down here where my cursor is? Whitelist is currently on false. You'd turn that on to true. And then if you're opt, you can go in game and you can type slash whitelist add. And I could say... Um, let's say my friend Pegomax. I go right, Pegomax, do that. And then he's added to the whitelist. Simple as that. You got all these options, all these commands, and you should be good to go. Your friends should be able to join as long as they're in the same Hamachi network or if they're just living in the same house as you using the same internet. That should work too. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, whether it's to do with the server, whether it's to do with the, a pack, uh, literally anything. Just ask away and I'll do my best to try and find you an answer. Now, I'm obviously not a super genius, but, you know, I'll give it a shot. You can also head over to our Discord. I'll have a link in the description. You can join our MC Eternal server, which is pretty fun. We do have to whitelist you to join it, but there's no application or anything. You just tell me your username and I add you to the whitelist. Pretty simple. Pretty fun. And, yeah. You can also ask questions in Discord. Everyone's super helpful. And obviously, I can get to the Discord a lot faster than the uh, YouTube comments. So it's also very helpful. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, if this helped you, I'm sure it would have helped a few people. Please subscribe. It helps me out a lot, probably more than you realize. And yeah, that, that's about it, honestly. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.